हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई वी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द हीट ट्रीटमेंट एंड द टाइप ऑफ वेरियस हीट ट्रीटमेंट and if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below do check the description once for all the links and uh, if you find this video helpful please share this video on social media and please press the like button now heat treatment it is necessary because the initial processes of forming such as rolling or uh, extrusion or forming processes such as then what happens that internal stresses are developed in the components so and the grain structure is also not uniform so what we do we do heat treatment processes now heat treatment after heat treatment the main motive is to refine the grain structure to relieve the internal stresses to increase hardness and toughness as required so heat treatment processes then on the component that are already been rolled or forged then after that we apply the heat treatment processes on those components and this process is applied just after the original process has occurred that is suppose example if a, if a rolling is done then immediately after rolling heat treatment will be applied and we will not wait for the cooling or the change in the grain structure we will apply sooner so as to provide better grain structure and we can easily re relieve the internal stresses now there are many type of heat treatment processes they are annealing normalizing and hardening now annealing is the process in which the component that is to be heat treated it is placed in the furnace itself and when the temperature of the component it has reached above its recrystallization temperature then till then we will keep in the furnace and after that we will take out and we will cool we will allow it to cool in the furnace itself by the process of annealing what happens ductility improves toughness improves internal stresses are reduced and uh, we get better better uh, refined structure and second process is normalizing now normalizing is the in in normalizing what happens that the component that is to be heat treated it is placed in the air in air or uh, often a blower is applied in order to force the air over the component now normalizing it it creates a component with softer outer surface and tough core that is inner surface is very hard on the normalized component and the outer surface it appears smooth and the hardening process now this process is applied hardening to increase the hardness of the material of the component so hardening can be done by quenching that is quenching as a part of hardening process now many people they feel that annealing normalizing and quenching are three processes no annealing normalizing and hardening are three processes and quenching is a a part a sub part of hardening process now in quenching what happens there are they can be many medium such as water or uh, brine solution that is water plus nacl or uh, any oil in which the component first it is heated below the recrystallization temperature then it is immersed in the water or in the oil or in the brine solution and we will get very hard component and we will get martensite now this is martensite is the toughest it is the toughest and hardest component of type of uh, carbon so we will get martensite structure after hardening process and uh, the process to be applied annealing normalizing or hardening that that depends on our requirement whether we want to improve grain structure whether we want to relieve internal stress whether we want to increase toughness whether we want to increase hardness or any combination of both so there can be these three processes 
can be applied simultaneously also one after the other M means consecutively that is first annealing is done then normalizing is done then hardening is done or according to requirement we can use these two processes these two processes or these two processes or only single can be used that depends only on our requirement i hope you have understood what is heat treatment and the type of heat treatment if you have found this video helpful please share this video please press the like button if you have found this video helpful and please do not forget to subscribe please subscribe my channel i post these videos daily and uh, till next time take care bye bye